Ouch! Oh. My tooth fell off! What do I do? I know. Call the dentist! So I was playing soccer and the ball hit my face and my tooth fell off. Keep in mind that this can be extremely distressing for the patient, so try to keep them as calm as possible and advise the following. Pick up the tooth by the crown, which is the white portion. Gently rinse the tooth in cold water if it's dirty. Place the tooth back in its original position in the mouth. Bite down on cotton to hold it in position. And finally, rush to your local dentist as soon as possible. Reimplantation is not advised in certain scenarios, such as unconscious patients, severe cardiac conditions, severe cognitive impairments, immunosuppressive patients, severe caries, or people with periodontal diseases. In such cases, the tooth should be placed in a suitable storage medium to prevent dehydration and brought to the dentist as soon as possible. Suitable storage mediums include milk, Hanks balanced salt solution, saliva, or saline. Finally, you have reached the dental clinic. Hi, I'm Dr. DJ. Let's take a look at your tooth. So what we have here is an evolved tooth. Avulsion is the complete displacement of a tooth from its socket or alveolus. Treatment and prognosis depends on the extra alveolar dry time and whether it's a closed or open apex. If the extra alveolar dry time is greater than 60 minutes, the tooth will have a poor long-term prognosis. Treatment can lead to ankylosis-related resorption. In such cases, reimplantation is done to temporarily restore function and aesthetics, which allows maintenance of the alveolar bone for future treatment options. Open apexes, reimplantation can be done to allow continued root development since it has potential for revascularization. Never reimplant a primary tooth, it can cause more harm and good to the underlying permanent tooth germ. Moving on to the prognosis, assessing the periodontal ligament can help determine the prognosis of the tooth. The periodontal ligament cells are most viable when the tooth is reimplanted immediately after the accident, that's within 15 minutes. They are viable but compromised when the extra alveolar dry time is less than 60 minutes and the tooth is kept in a suitable medium. Periodontal cells are not viable when the extra oral dry time is greater than 60 minutes. The treatment plan depends on whether the tooth is reimplanted at the site of injury or whether the tooth is brought back in a storage medium. So let's discuss the treatment plan for a tooth reimplanted at the site of injury. First, thoroughly clean the area with water, saline, or chlorhexidine. Radiographic assessment should be done to check the surrounding teeth and alveolar bone health and verify the correct position of the tooth. If the tooth is malpositioned, correct the position under local anesthesia. Splint the tooth for two weeks using flexible splint and suture any gingival lacerations if present. Initiate apexification at first signs of infected pulp in an open apex with extra alveolar dry time less than 60 minutes. Start root canal treatment within two weeks in a closed apex with extra alveolar dry time that is greater than 60 minutes, which includes two sittings with calcium hydroxide as the intracanal medification for up to even four weeks before obturation. Open apexes with extra alveolar dry time if reimplanted Start root canal within two weeks and plan for implants in the future. Now let's discuss the treatment plan for when the tooth is brought back in a storage medium. First, remove and clean any debris on the tooth by gently stirring the medium. Irrigate the tooth socket with saline and reposition or suture any fractured segments under local anesthesia. 
Next, re-implant the tooth with digital pressure. Verify the tooth's position clinically and radiographically. Splint the tooth for two weeks using a flexible splint. Suture any gingival lacerations if present. Initiate apexification. At first signs of infected pulp in an open apex with an extra alveolar dry time that is less than 60 minutes. And start root canal treatment within two weeks in a closed apex when the extra alveolar dry time is greater than 60 minutes. And for an open apex tooth with an extra alveolar dry time that's greater than 60 minutes, if re-implanted, start root canal within two weeks and plan for implants as the prognosis is poor. That we're done with the treatment, let's move on to the post-op instructions. Soft diet for two weeks, use a soft toothbrush for maintenance of good oral hygiene, chlorhexidine mouthwash twice a day for two weeks, and of course, ask them to avoid contact sports, at least for the time being. Last but not least, don't forget to prescribe antibiotics. Systemic antibiotics for seven days, and do ask the patient about their tetanus shot history. If required, ask them to get a tetanus booster shot. Don't forget to follow up with the treatment starting from two weeks to yearly at least once for five years. And always make sure to include both clinical and radiographic examinations at each follow-up appointment. So that pretty much sums up our video on evulsion and its treatment plan. So if your patients want to play contact sports, that's great. But why not advise them to use a mouth guard? That way they can protect their teeth and their beautiful smile and really just save everyone from a lot of unnecessary pain.